The Supreme Court confirmed overnight that Chief Justice John Roberts fell two weeks ago while walking for exercise near his home in the Maryland suburbs of Washington. The court says Roberts, who is 65, injured his forehead, needed stitches, and spent the night at a hospital out of an abundance of caution. A court spokeswoman says doctors ruled out a seizure and believe the fall was likely due to lightheadedness caused by dehydration. The court did not reveal the incident at the time, The Washington Post, which first reported the fall, said the court confirmed it after the paper asked about it in response to a tip. Some other justices, most notably Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg, have volunteered information about health setbacks requiring hospitalization. Roberts, who was appointed to be Chief Justice by President George W. Bush in 2005, suffered two seizures in the past, most recently in 2007, but doctors found no identifiable cause. The court said at the time that he underwent a thorough neurological evaluation, which revealed no cause for concern. The Chief Justice had an unusually public role earlier this year, presiding over President Trump's Senate impeachment trial. In just the past week, Roberts has played a deciding role in the court's rulings on DACA and abortion, with more high-profile decisions yet to come this term. And Pete, uh, is it is it unusual that the public is just finding about this fall now because the injury did happen weeks ago? Yeah, there's no set policy. It's really up to the individual justice. Some, like Justice Ginsburg, dutifully disclose their health issues, but not all of them do. For example, we didn't find out that Justice Anthony Kennedy had a heart stent procedure until 10 months later.